Although by the end of the 1960s the Travi had been overtaken by technological developments, at one time, 40 years ago, it was technically revolutionary. At that time, the Travi was superior to all its competitors, the Lloyd, the BMW Isetta, the NSU Prince and the Gogomobile. It was only decisions by the party and the GDR government that kept the Travi the way it is and ensured the many successes to it designed in Zwickau were never built. The garage. In GDR days, a time-consuming business, there was always a long wait for the car to be seen and for spare parts. What's wrong? Can it be saved? Yes, it can. But is it worth the money? That's a decision that's going to have to be made. This Travi is 11 years old now. It's worth about $500. But the repairs, just roughly speaking, if we want to do a proper job, will cost about $1,400. And that's even though we charge a very low hourly rate here. So from an economic point of view, it's not worth doing. But it's for the customer to decide if he wants to spend those $1,400 on his car. Have you had this car a long time? Oh, no. Yes. And I always looked after it. The mechanics will tell you that. So it's a hard decision. How long would it take to repair? The mechanic considers what other jobs the garage has in hand and the work that would be involved. In the end, he tells the Travi owner that to do the repair, his car would have to spend about five days at the garage. After thinking it over for a while, the car's owner decides he's going to spend the money on it and have it repaired. He just doesn't want to lose it. He's very attached to this car. You can get a lot into it. There's no point getting a new one at his age, he says. He wouldn't get much use out of it. The supply of spare parts is assured for many years to come. Now at last, the spares, which used to be so hard to get hold of, are readily available any time at the garage and at a low price. A new engine will cost you $500. And of course, any Travi that's for sale, like this one, is a potential source of spares. So the former legend will end up as scrap. All that remains are memories. The Trabby, a 15-year wait for it, your first holiday, maybe your first love, the battle for spares, hours spent struggling with wrenches, then the queues at petrol stations on a Saturday, the trip to the Black Sea, and finally, the journey to the West. And now? Oh, all I left. This is one of the last ones ever built. I'll do you a special price. So, where shall I put the price? It's like with fine wines. This is a 1989 vintage. That was the best year. Thank you. 